In this video, we'll show you how to program with ArduBlock. Make sure your Hummingbird Duo is plugged in and you have set up the Arduino environment. ArduBlock is a blocks-based graphical environment for creating Arduino programs. Those with experience using Scratch 2.0 or Snap with Hummingbird should find ArduBlock programming structures familiar. To use ArduBlock, make sure you have installed the Hummingbird Duo add-on for Arduino and the ArduBlock extension. Before we get started, we need to switch your board to Arduino mode using the Hummingbird firmware burner. Open the Hummingbird firmware burner. You should see four different setting options for the Hummingbird board. Select Switch to Arduino Ready Firmware. You will then be prompted to conduct a manual reset on your Hummingbird by pressing the reset button on the back of the board. Once the reset is complete, your board will be ready to program in Arduino mode and you should see this display message. You can now close the Hummingbird firmware burner. Launch the Arduino environment and then go to the Tools section. Move down to the board option and make sure it is set to Hummingbird Duo. Now let's set the serial port. Typically, the Duo serial port will be the last port listed, or in some cases, the only one. Select the port. Now, let's open ArduBlock. This should open the program in a separate window. We have created 10 Hummingbird Duo ArduBlock example programs. This tutorial will show you how to access and upload them to the Duo. Select Open an ArduBlock. This should bring up the Documents section on your computer. Now choose the Arduino folder. After that, select the folder marked ArduBlock Duo Examples. Here, you'll find the 10 example programs we mentioned earlier. Select one to open it in ArduBlock. I'll choose Blink LED. For this next step, make sure you can see the regular Arduino window on your screen. Back in ArduBlock, select Upload to Arduino and the sketch will compile. Now your board should be running the Blink LED program using the status light and an LED light you have plugged into LED port 1. Once you have uploaded an Arduino or ArduBlock program to the Duo, you can upload new programs without hitting the reset button. If the auto upload process does not work, try changing the serial port. If it continues to not work, press Upload and then press the Reset button on the board and hold it down until the status text in the Arduino IDE reads Uploading. Go back into your ArduBlock examples and select another program. This time, I'll choose Fade LED. Now select Upload to Arduino and your program should automatically upload to Arduino. Lastly, let's take a look at returning your board to its original tethered mode. You only need to do this if you want to use your board with Scratch, Snap, or the Visual Programmer. To switch back to tethered mode, close the Arduino environment if it is open, and then launch the Hummingbird Firmware Burner Utility. Select Switch to Hummingbird USB Tethered Firmware. Now press and hold down the Reset button on your controller for one second. Once this dialog box appears, your Hummingbird Duo will be back in tethered mode. Hit OK. If the firmware burner failed to convert Hummingbird to tethered mode the first time, try again. Close the firmware burner once you have converted your Hummingbird Duo back to tethered mode. And that wraps up this look at programming with the Hummingbird and Arduino block. For more info, check out our website. 